she got it. My trusty, lovely, amazing, um, non-paid helper, Rachel, helped me turn this on. So welcome. And I uh, did want to do a little video today. It's a beautiful day on Dock Yoga. It's the solstice. Take a deep breath in. Just breathe that in. Today's class is Solstice Goddess 108. Significance of 108 uh, varies from ancient, from counting mala, the mala beads, and meditation. There's 108 beads usually. Are you familiar with that? No? Uh, usually there's 108 beads on the meditation strand. There's a lot of other talk about or information about how the 108 is the distance maybe in millions of miles between the planets the sun and the earth and things like that there's also that book that we read the 369 that had to deal with the 108 um, that everything revolves around the numbers three six and nine and there's a lot of frequencies that intertwine with that that also I was listening a little bit about 108 and that the one or the first number stands for your independence and your strength and the, the zero is the whole family or this unit that you have and then maybe the eight is infinity, in, in, like forever. Infinity. <laughs> I've had a long day. <laughs> it's, yoga, it's just yoga. You just sit comfortably. Just settle. As I have it written right down here, settle. So if you're joining us, on the video, it's BH Yoga Dog. This is Doc Yoga. All the ladies are here. Close the eyes for a minute. Sit up nice and tall. Just take a deep breath. Let the sit, sit bones settle down and the spine elongate and the jaw relax. Take a deep breath in and let the body just circle slowly like a compass needle. So we'll get into some tree postures, we'll do some figure four, we'll have a little bit of challenge. We'll do some sun salutation or sir namaskar. Let the body rock a different way and you don't have to close the eyes, but I feel like it. So, you know, whatever you do is comfortable, right Lisa? What's the motto? My body, I can do whatever I want. My body, I can do whatever I want. That's right. As long as you're not falling off the dock or hurting yourself. Um, good to go. Come on back center, let the eyes open up, drop one hand, doesn't matter which one, and just lean it to the side. Take a deep breath in, exhale out through the mouth, or not, and other side. Oh. Bring it back and then rotate one hand behind, give it a little bit of spine rotation, and then bring it to the other side. Good. Bring it back center. Inhale up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Part the lips and exhale out the mouth like you're fogging up a mirror. <sighs> Let the jaw drop. Inhale again. Do it again. Exhale out. <sighs> Good. I feel like a lot of times, even myself, I don't want to make noise. Inhale up. And I know some people like, Debbie, she gets this little like, <laughs> So we're going to do it one more time and we're going to let the jaw drop. <sighs> And even stick the tongue out, lion's breath, right? Right. And then bring the feet down, soles of the feet, lean back, take the right foot, bring it across, and then draw that heel in as best you can to wherever that may be. So you don't have to draw it in as much as me. Maybe flex the right foot, and then walk the hands in to where you want to be. And then if you like, give it a little rock and roll. figure four, seated figure four. Let's bring it down to one side and maybe let the body drop away. And then bring it to the other side and let the body drop. Come on back center, squish it all together. Take a deep breath, lift the spine, drop the shoulders, push the arms straight, pull the belly in, flex that foot, spread out the toes. Inhale, exhale, let that long leg slide away. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, forward fold down over that leg to your best ability. 
this way I can get to check my notes. <laughs> you can let it sway a little bit, no big deal. You can flex the foot, right? And no matter where you are, if you're a pancake folded in half cool, and if you're more like a, I don't know, 10 men, don't worry about it. I'm gonna start two classes, the 10 men class, and also the I can't do yoga class. If I hear <laughs> one more time at the supermarket, I can't do yoga, I'm not flexible. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna start my own class. Bring it on back, bring the foot to the inside and bring that long leg behind to what we call deer posture. Take a deep breath, open the chest, and then forward fold down over that. So while you're in deer pose, if the right leg is in front, bring the body to the right, and then let the body kind of, as my, oh, damn, right on top of you. Um, as my mentor, Brett Lafoon calls this the puddle pose. So if you wanna move it around, you feel a nice stretch in the, the right hip as you're kind of puddling down over to that side. You can even let it lengthen out with the arm, see if you can just let it kind of melt down. And then walk it on up. And then from here with the right leg, if you have the right leg out, you can lean to the right and bring the left leg up and then extend the left leg out. Bring the heel in, squeeze the hamstring and out. Now the further, oh, the boat action, pull the belly in, right? Yeah, you can set it down if you want because if you're like, wow, this is really hard, it is, and extend it out, right? Just back and forth a few times. Maybe hold it out, maybe take a deep breath, and just lift it up. We're gonna warm it up for a minute. Maybe we'll work a little glute action. You can move the chest around. Maybe you can take the hand off the dock, give it a little fly, and then bring it back. Inhale, exhale down, over. Woo! Roll it on up, bring that back leg straight around again, and then tuck the right foot into the left inner thigh half butterfly, let it go. I'm gonna back up a little bit just so I can be on the mat. Take a look at the toes, take a deep breath, part the lips, exhale, out. Two more times like that, trying to bring the chest down, maybe eyeball on the toes a little bit. So this is lower back, so when you roll in and bring the chest in, you got more upper back. When you bring the sight towards the toes, you stretch out more of the lower back. Debbie, you can flex that foot and bring the heel off the, there you go. Debbie's super flexible in the hamstring, so you can even hold onto that foot and bring the heel off the mat. Yeah, wrap that hands around. Stretch those arms out, Debbie, and give it a good stretch. Roll it on up. Slide the legs out, bring the hands behind, open the chest. Walk the feet in, left foot on top of the right, and then slide that heel in to where you want. Push the arm straight, flex that foot. It doesn't matter where it is, maybe don't pull it in that far. All right, give it a little rock and roll, and then maybe a little rock and roll with the legs. So loosen it up, hips. <clears throat> that violin going to town. Longest day of the year it makes me so happy and also makes me so sad at the same time because I know that it's, that they get shorter and shorter. I don't like, come on back center, right? Pull it on in, take a deep breath, lift it on up. Maybe try to pull the belly in, straighten it on, flex that foot, spread out those toes a little bit. Where'd we go from here? Oh yeah. Release all of that, forward fold. So if you want to bring the leg to the inside, you don't have to leave it on top. It doesn't matter what you hold on to. You can round here or stretch it out a little bit. It's up to you. Because we're going to do that half butterfly. Mm -hmm. Take a few deep breaths. Exhale out to the mouth. Roll it on up. Bring the foot to the inside. Bring that right leg around. And puddle pose over onto the left. Now maybe you want to try to lengthen out an arm here or extend the other arm and get it out of the way. You can bring it behind you. Just trying to get a stretch on that left side. Something that feels good, not too intense. Roll it on up. Right? 
straighten out that leg. Maybe bring the hands up, maybe hold on lightly, pull the belly in, pull the heel into the glute, and start to work that hamstring a little bit. Right, you can set it down, it's no crime, bring it back, set it down, or try to lean, maybe bring the hand off, yeah. Pull the belly in, work the core, just for a moment, right? Different way of working the core. So the more you lean back, you can test that out, maybe lean back or lean forward. Yeah, that was super intense song, thank you. Stretch it out. Where'd we go? Bring it to the front. Inhale, what's that? We got, oh, Lisa says we forgot the lift. Lift, she doesn't want to miss that glute squeeze. Stretch it, and then bring it around. Inhale, lift, if you want, and exhale, forward fold. Again, take a look at the toes. If you want to flex the foot, bring the heel off the ground. If it's just enough to stretch, you can bend the knee too. I don't mind. Work it out a little bit. Breathe. Yay, my toes! Leslie, you touch your toes. You can wave at the toes. You can move it around. All right, do something that feels good. Maybe even walk out the glutes a little bit. Make a little room somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm. Roll it on in. This time comes the fun part. Both legs long, fingers to the back, point the toes, and if you want, reverse plank, lift the hips, open the chest, take a deep breath, exhale, shake out the hair, oh, put the glutes down, on, inhale, lift up to the sky and forward, fold down over those legs. You can roll in, do something that feels good, walk it out, keep the knees bent if you like, just shake it out, no worries. Don't force it. And we're gonna go into a few sun salutations because it is solstice. So I'd like to introduce you to a few sun Sir Namaskar A's and a few Sir Namaskar B's. So let's do three of each. Roll it on up, cross the legs on in, bring it to the hands and the knees, tuck the toes, walk it on up, and then bring it to the top of the mat, bend the knees, roll it on up to stand. Fix the hands. Inhale, lift. Take a deep breath. Don't worry. I feel all of a sudden like, what are we doing? Hands to the heart or down. It doesn't matter. Inhale, up. We've done these a million times. Exhale, all the way down. Quads, shins, floor. If you touch the floor, try to get some length out of the spine. Exhale, forward fold over those legs. We'll do the first one super slow. Bend the knees to bring the hands onto the floor and step all the way back into plank pose. You can drop the knees or not. Pull it down to the belly. Release the toes, lift up cobra. Pull the elbows back, bring the chest through the arm. Let the toes relax. Take a deep drink here of air, release down, tuck the toes with or without knees, push straight up, pull straight back, look towards the hands, and walk, hop, skip, jump to the top. Flat back, don't forget it. Forward fold, don't waste it. Inhale, rise with glute strength. Feet can be apart together, whatever you like, hands down to the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Quad shins floor. Inhale, flat back, get some length. Forward fold and maybe a little hops back. Right, knees or not, lower down. Halfway maybe or belly to the mat. Pull through, up dog or cobra. Cobra, your legs are on the ground. This is Sphinx, cobra, up dog. Pull back to down dog, however you wanna get there. Look towards the hands and maybe little hops to the top. Flat back, forward fold. The wind's going, the seas are rocking. It's good, one more time, we're gonna do that just like that. So you have options, inhale up, exhale down, down. What if I walk around? Exhale down. <laughs> <laughs> Inhale, flat back. You're like, what am I doing? I'm watching wrong. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with both feet, one at a time. Or hop back, lower down how you like. And move through up dog or cobra, hopefully to the tops of the feet. Take a deep breath, bring the elbows in towards the ribs. 
slower down and pull back down dog. <sighs> Look towards the hand, walk, hop, skip, jump to the top. Flat back, get some length. Forward fold, get some depth. And inhale to rise. Welcome to three, sun salutations, Surnamaskar A. Surnamaskar B, inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. So feet can be apart or together. I like mine together and the legs to squeeze. Biceps and ears towards one another. Belly in, sit back onto the heels, even lift the toes. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. This is going to be about the same. Inhale, flat back. Forward fold, step hop back. Lower down and through chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, right? Pull back, pull back. Down dog, now lift that right leg to the sky. Mm -hmm. Bring the knee to the chest, foot to the top of the mat, drop the back heel. Lift on up, warrior one. Bring it on down. Front foot back, lower down. Pull through, pull back. Left leg to the sky, knee to the chest, foot to the top of the mat, drop the back heel. Warrior one, just like that, lower down, front foot back, move through chaturanga, lower down, elbows in, pull through up dog or cobra, pull back down dog, look towards the hands, walk hop, skip to the top, flat back, forward fold, inhale to rise, right, and sound. So this time, focus on your breath. Inhale, chair pose, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Right leg, inhale, exhale. Top of the mat, inhale, exhale. Front foot back, inhale, exhale. Pull through, inhale, pull back, exhale. Left leg, inhale, top of the mat, exhale. Inhale, down, exhale, front foot back. Lower down, knees, chest and chin, pull, pull through. Cobra of your choice, right? And pull back, tuck the toes, maybe down dog. Look towards the hands. Right? Rev it up, bend the knees, and whatever you want to get there is fine. But flatten the back, pull straight, forward fold, inhale to rise. You do 108 of these, you're good for the day. We're gonna do it one more time. Inhale up, don't watch me. Exhale down. Oh, chair pose, don't forget it, sorry. Chair pose, now watch me. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Chest, foot to the top of the mat. We got a rock and roll deck. Yeah, woo, surfing. Bring it down. Front foot back. Susan's like, I gotta hold on. Pull it through. Pull it back. Left leg to the sky. Knee to the chest, foot to the top of the mat. Drop the back heel. Strength, right? Bring it down. Front foot back. Lower down, maybe knees, chest, and chin. Pull through your best cobra or up dog. And then just come on down the knees and pull back child's pose. Woo. You can part the knees, big toes together, let it go, take the right arm, drive it through, palm up, stretch the back. Just like that. Now maybe bring that left arm up and over for a little bit of bind, child's pose. If you want, that is optional. Up and you got it, Lisa. That's perfect. And then release. Maybe change sides, lengthen it out first. Drive the left arm through, palm up. Take a breath there before you bring that right arm up and over, palm. For the back of the hand towards the body, palm up. 
Uh-huh. And then try to adjust the shoulders a little bit. See if you can relax the jaw a little bit. Breathe out through that mouth. You can stick out the tongue, lion's breath. Bring it back down. Child pose your way back out. Stretch it. Maybe bring the chin forward for a little more stretch in that direction of the lower back, but and maybe let it sway. Take into those sun salutations and let them go. They're in the rear view mirror. Whatever worked or didn't work, we can practice on those. Come on up all fours. Come over here. Oh yeah. Tuck the toes and come on back to a nice little squat. Now if you can't walk the feet together, now, if this doesn't work out for you, just do your best and don't worry about it, right? So we got tiptoe squat. Now maybe, I know the dock is rocking, and maybe you want to do whatever kind of squat you want. But maybe lift up to the spine, that means squeeze the glutes and lift up to the core. Work the feet a little bit and just focus on a little bit of balance. Don't fall off the dock. Whoa. Bring the hands down, walk the booty back, walk the arms out, give that a stretch. You can release the feet if you like. If that's pure torture, don't do it. You can work on it though. You can move it around, maybe stretch the toes. It's all right, all right. Maybe move the hips, drop the knees, move it around a little bit. Come on back, walk it up, walk it up, walk it up. Part the feet, mat width, give it a stretch. We're gonna do five, we're going to lift up and come back down to the squat. So kind of starfish. So come back center, shoot it straight up. Squeeze the glutes, open the arms, lean back. Exhale, and down. Four more. Lift up, open up. Sun's in my eyes, so i got to keep closing my eyes. But, and that's good for balance. Lift it up. Maybe look up, open up, breathe up. You already know what I look like, so we'll keep doing these. Don't fall off the back, Deb Deb. Yes. I'm going to show you the view from here in just a few more times. Inhale, exhale, lift on up. Ooh, yes. Come on down to the squat. Lower it on down. Move it around a little bit. And then wherever you are, heels up, heels down. Take the right hand to the right. Take the left arm to the sky. So if it's more like this, that's fine. If the heels are up, that's fine. Take that left flying hand, bring it behind. Palm away. Turn the right hand, palm away. See if the two shall touch, and if they shall not, no big deal. As you can see, I'm still working on getting my heels down to the ground, so I'm just gonna move them back and forth a little bit. Yeah. Pull the belly in, drop the shoulders, breathe, breathe. Close the eyes. Yeah. Use a lot less energy with the eyes closed. Maybe, maybe like, oh my God. Release all that, open the eyes. Hands forward, kick the heels forward, fold. Exhale, let it go, let the hips sway, let the head drop. I can see people behind me, luckily. They're looking at a better view out in the fjord. So come on back, drop it down, right? Left arm out, maybe to the inside of the leg a little bit, maybe just working the shoulder in, right? For other postures that have that little fine right arm up. I'm going to crow. <laughs> Bring it behind. And then maybe let it sway a little bit. So I'm gonna try to straighten the spine, pull the belly in. I'm working on the heels a little. And if they don't touch, don't worry about it. They're not ready to meet. It's like two people on the internet dating. I don't know. Am I ready to meet you? I'm not sure. I like talking to you. I'm going to wave at you. Hi. Wink. Come on back. Release. Hands forward. Kick the heels forward. Fold. Now, if you're seasoned and you want to lift a leg into a, you know, standing split, you're welcome to. If you want to just stay with the forward fold, that's fine too. Inhale. Exhale. And if you want to do some standing splits, you can move it back and forth, or you just hang and forward fold, just trying to release the back. I say trying. And then come on back. Come on down. Shake out the head. Shake it all out. 
Let that all go. Bend the knees and roll on up. Ooh, inhale, lift. Bring the palms together. Let the thumbs just waterfall down over the forehead, the nose, the lip, the chin. They're yours. And to the heart. Close the eyes for a moment. And exhale out. So namaskars, some salutations. A bunch of breath, Ujjayi breath, ocean breath, that's nice, that's appropriate here. And the eyes open up, bring the feet together, Ukatasana chair posture. Sit into it, give it a little pulse. Set the knees behind the toes, bring the toes up off the floor. I've seen plenty of yogis who come down, they have really um, loose kind of soulless gastronemius, Achilles tendons, but I still like to keep the knees behind the toes to keep the knees protected. So it puts a lot of pressure on the knees to come forward, right? Lift the chest if you can, get an arch in the back, biceps towards the ears, and this is all a work in progress as you bring the, bring the pinky fingers in. Extend the arms as best you can. Inhale and exhale. Oh, stand on up, squeeze the glutes, get super tall through that left leg, pull the right knee into the chest. So you can actually pull it in. I know we're gonna have a rock and dock. Left hand, right knee, right hand to the back of the body. Find a dristi, a focal point, that's not me, obviously and enjoy your big toe that's standing on the crown because that is like your anchor other than you squeezing the left glute super hard. Okay. Get a flexor point. Ah, right? Come on out of there. Come on out of there. Just lift the other leg. We're gonna we're gonna turn it into a little bit of a flow. Take a moment. I know we got a wiggle. You can use the pull, the railing if you like. I like to look down. It might be a little easier in some other situations. I might look up or forward. So here I'm just gonna look down because the dock's already going. And I'm gonna let that left arm come back and that big toe drive into the mat. Pulling the core in, the spine tall. Nice. Whatever's happening, don't worry about it. Right? Woo, release. Take a deep breath up. Chair posture. Forward fold posture. Roll it on up posture. All the way to the sky posture. Hands waterfall down the face. Hands to the heart. Left knee comes back up. Woo. Now maybe you want to hold on to the knee, or maybe you want to slide down. This is challenging. Take the challenge, right? Kick it on out and draw that right arm back. Now maybe do bring that foot down onto the opposite leg. Woo, right? Maybe do bring the glutes back and the hands down. Maybe do bring the hands towards the ground. Wish we had blocks now, don't worry. And maybe you just work on that. Maybe you got one hand tilt, the other hand tilt. So we had a little figure four in the beginning. She's like, this is crazy. I'm never coming to dock yoga again. Inhale, exhale. Come on up, stand it on up with the wobble and the waves. You can do it. What if you are on a tightrope between two buildings? Shoot it out, warrior three. You got it. Don't step back because you're going to step off the dock. Woo. Come on, warrior three. You got it. Take the challenge. No big deal. Both hands down. Standing split. Bring the feet together. Hallelujah. Flat back. Forward fold, roll it on up, inhale, lift, don't waste it, hands to the heart. <sighs> Close the eyes, let it all go. It's challenging. The days in your life you have that are challenging, this should be fun, right? Like who cares, wobble, wiggle, fall over. Inhale, lift, 
inhale, part the lips, exhale, even stick out the tongue. Because you're allowed. Open the eyes, come onto the right leg. Bring the knee in. Squeeze that glute super hard, pull the belly in. Maybe hold on to the knee. That boat's not going to help you, right? Kick it out, draw it back, take the challenge, no big deal. Whatever it looks like, take a deep breath. Woo! You got it, just get hold of that toe. That knee, whatever you want. Where'd we go from here? Oh, did we go to figure four? We did. Woo! Oh yeah, tape this one. I like it. Sit down into it. Maybe this is where you're at. Hey, maybe this is your figure four. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Lisa says, you know, more like a little bended tree. And then if you want, you can bring the hands down, wiggle it around, loosen it up any way you can. Right? You got a little bended tree there. That's nice. Get up there, figure four. Hey, be happy we're not doing recline or figure four with twists. Oh my God, roll it up. That boat did not help turn it into warrior three. Maybe hands down for warrior three. Hold on to the dock, warrior three. Extend something, warrior three. Lift one arm. Woo! Just take a challenge, you got it. Susan's like, no. Hold on. <laughs> Standing split, maybe stretch it out. Bring the feet together. Flat back. It's like, where is the seated portion? Exhale, forward fold. Roll up, it's solstice. Maybe you can do goddess. Bring it down. Inhale, exhale, close the eyes. Take a moment. Maybe part the feet for a little bit of a bigger base. All right, let the heart settle down for a moment. You said you wanted hip stretch. A lot of figure four stretch. Let the eyes come open. Bring the toes out. Sit down in. You got a little squat here. Down to your own level. Right, a little wider with the stance. And then walk the hands out and the glutes back. Woo. Now let it rock and roll to the left and the right. And let it breathe. No, I wrote it down. There we go. Oh, we did that. We did that. We did that, yeah. All right. Bring it back center. Kick out the heels. Walk the feet in. Let's walk them in about mat width. Take the left hand over to the right leg, or you can place it in the center of the feet, and then lift the right arm up. Now you can take that right hand, that top hand, bring it around for a little bind. And then just see the kind of length you can get, pull in the belly, drop the shoulders. And then bring it up and over. Again, the right hand can bring over to the left leg or it can come down to the floor. And then lift the left arm up. Maybe you wanna bind that hand, working on that hand, looking for the quadricep. Mm -hmm. Bring it all the way back up to the sky before you bring it all the way down and then walk it to the front of the mat. Or if you're in the front of the mat, walk the feet back down into plank. Inhale, exhale, drop the left knee, tuck the left toes, bring the right leg in line and then the right hand up to the sky. I'm gonna kickstand my left leg back a little bit. We got a nice chest opener, modified kind of wild thing, side plank. We got some stability with that kickstand. Mm -hmm. Bring it all the way down. We're just gonna roll it to the other side, nice and easy. I'm gonna kickstand my leg back, open up the chest. And then bring it on back. Roll it on back. I'm letting you have the knee down. It's a beautiful thing right here. 
right? Now you can take that long leg and swing it behind for more of a modified wild thing, you know, with the knee on the ground. If you want to kick that knee out, there we go, ta-da! You can bring it in a wild thing, but you don't have to. You just want to open it up. And then roll it to the other side. You got a little kickstand. Again, here we have it here. If you want to extend that. Whoa, which one? There we go. And then bring it on back. Roll it to the other side. I know, back and forth, right? Now from here, we got that left knee underneath. Now maybe you can just bring that left knee off the ground. Or you can think about it. Or you can work on it. Or you can bring it up and shoot it out. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you can grab onto the toe and give it a nice pull. Or not, just think about it. And then set it all down and roll it to the other side. So the nice thing is, is when you put these in between sun salutations. It's like a little sandwich. All right, so maybe just lifting up the knee. Or maybe not, just working here with a little bit of strength. Maybe kicking the leg out. Or maybe even holding on, trying not to fall over. Now a good thing to do would be to lower the hips and then lift them back up. But we won't do that today. All right. Bring it on down. Inhale, exhale. Walk the knees up. Cross the feet. Sit on back. Roll it on down. Hallelujah. You graduated to the laying down part. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. Oh. Let the left leg either foot on the ground or nice and long. Clasp the fingers around the right shin and then pull that knee down to the right side of the body as the shoulders drop away from the ears. The spine gets super long. So you can pull it in, pull it to the right. Try to get some nice length in the spine. Mm -hmm. Take that right knee across the body. Find spinal twist. Arms out to the right with the wing. Knee to the left. Now from here, if you want, you can... You, not backwards. So if the left leg is long, you can bend it up. Reach down with the right hand and grab it. My hands are not tight enough to this. And then do a little cat pulling its own tail. So it just gives a little bit of a front opener, a little back bend. And then release all of that. Come on back, let the right knee drop out, fallen tree, maybe arms, cactus, or up overhead just for a moment. Maybe the knee touches the dock, maybe not. Right knee to the sky, left knee pulls into the body, the right leg can stay bent or extend. Bring the left knee down to the left side of the ribs and give that a nice big stretch. Let's switch leg, Jeff. Nice. See if you can get the back of the neck towards the ground. Flattening out the spine a little bit, using the breath. And then let it cross the body. Recline spinal twist. You can even adjust the hips, you know. Move them around and then arms to the left, knee to the right. Extend out. Trying to forget all those sun salutations or namaskars and the legs up flying in the air and balancing hand to foot. Now, if you want, bend that long leg, that right leg, bend it up towards the glute. Reach down for it, and maybe arm, right arm up overhead for cat pulling its own tail.
<laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> We're in that direction. Okay. And then release all of that. Let that left knee come up and over and shoot out to the left. Drop it down. Fallen tree. Arms do something that you like. And again, that knee might drop to the dock and it might not. It doesn't matter. Just about sensation, movement, and breath, and opening the body. It's actually pretty simple. Let that knee come back up to the sky. Bring the soles of the feet together, actually. Let both knees drop out. Both knees drop down and recline bound angle. Bring the left knee into the chest as we did before. Now you can stay here, it's kind of a half and half, right? Or you can slide the hand down to the outside of the foot for like half happy baby and a half bound angle, recline bound angle. Let both feet come together, soles of the feet come back together. And then bring the right knee up into the chest as we did before. Now you can stay there. You can reach behind the hamstring or slide down, grab the outside of the foot, pinky toe, and half bound angle, half happy baby. Bring both feet together, bring the knees up, bring the knees into the chest and then cross the right leg over the left. Take the hands, slide them down the outside of the legs, and then give them a nice little stretch in towards the body. So if you want to, you can reach down and grab the pinky toes, or you can work on just the calves. You're gonna feel quite the stretch, especially on the right side. That IT band. If you want, you can really give it a little stretch. You can even lift up the head, readjust. Right. And release all of that. Hands behind the head, fingertips on the head. Reach up, pull the knees into the chest. Be happy, we're not gonna do 108 of these. Release all of it, change legs. Take a deep breath, pull the legs in, slide the hands down, totally different side, right? Oh my goodness, this is like my very weird side. I want to fall over to the left. Trying to work that out, trying to breathe into that. Release all of that. Put the hands behind the head, lift up, pull the knees into the chest. Extend everything, arms and legs, all the way away from one another. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale, roll it on up with or without elbows, forward fold. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna slide back a little bit. We're gonna take three deep breaths and forward fold. Any way you like. I'm not telling you what to do anymore. My bossiness is over. Roll on up. Pull the knees in, cross one leg over the other. A little bit of seated shoelace. Forward fold over that goodness. Or just an easy seat is fine, yeah. Roll it on up. Shoot that left leg out, pull the right heel into the chest. And then forward fold. A little bit of change, a little bit of difference. Roll it on up, both legs out. Inhale, exhale, down over those legs, forward fold. 
roll it on up, cross the left leg over, a little shoelace on the other side. Just giving a little stretch in that direction. Roll it on up, left leg out, right heel in, inside of leg. Roll it on up. Nice easy seat. Either way, let the body roll. We can let the eyes close as we began. Hold on to the knees of the dog. So circling like a compass needle. And change direction. Feeling good. Balancing out the nervous system. Come back center, one arm down, up and over. And to the other side. Bring it around for that twist. We're gonna hang here for a three deep breath as you lift up through the spine, top of the head. And then exhale, turn with the torso. And two more times like that. A little bit of adjustment. Just and if you want to have the legs in a different position, that's fine too. Oh, bring it to the other side. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, turn. Inhale, lift up to the top of the head. Big breath. Exhale, out to the mouth. Bring the body back, hands behind, lift the chest open, forward fold over those legs, roll it on up, extend the legs out one more time, forward fold, and we're going to roll it all the way down to lying on the back, completely use the elbows or not, abdominal strength, whatever you can do, whatever feels good. Arms up overhead, take a deep breath, extend. Mm, pull the knees into the chest. Exhale. Roll into a little ball, squeeze the face, close the eyes, hold the breath. Squeeze, 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 a little tourniquet. Shavasana. All the way out, take up some room. Lay it on out. French Riviera. All right, Bar Harbor, Maine. Bar Harbor, Maine. This is good. 108 deep breaths. No, let's take 10. Doesn't that sound better? Let's take 10 deep breaths. No right or wrong. Breaths can appear just about anything, like smoking. Imagine if you got really mad and you took 10 deep breaths before you spoke. You are unstoppable, but we're gonna turn you off. We wanna take 10 deep breaths. And as you take your 10 deep breaths, Pull out my trusty yoga path cards because they're super fun. I'm gonna pull one for this class. Time you're somewhere and someone gets agitated like you know at the store or whatever you can just tell them to take a deep breath i think that will go over well let's take a deep breath take ten, tell them to take 10 deep breaths 
Bar Harbor in the summer. We need 10 deep breaths. Got a question? Think about it now. While you take your 10 deep breaths, right? What should I do with my life? All right, here you go. Ah, you should take pranayama, which is <laughs> deep breaths. So just hang out there, relax, suntan, enjoy the smell of the ocean. It's on page 69, too, for all you new lovers. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> my, my video just got ruined. <laughs> Pranayama, the eight stages of yoga, one of the eight stages of yoga, of control of the breath. You have inhaled the beauty, the joy, the magnificence of life, and exhaled the toxicity, stagnancy, and dullness. Now is the time to use your prana, your energy, you have cultivated deeper, you're cultivating deeper towards the truth. With this control of your breath, you can control your life. So where would you like to go? Did I not just say, what would you like to do with your life? If you're seek, seeking more rest, tranquility, and luxury, breathe slower. If you're seeking more energy, speed, and rajas in your life, that's fire, breathe faster. Pranayama, breath control, you can decide how you want to feel and when. <laughs> Begin to study the various pranayama practices, such, such as alternating nostril breathing and breath of fire, which we can do both right now. Use it in your life to magnetize your direction. So it's true, inhales give you energy, exhales give you a little release. Take a deep breath on either one of those, or both, or equal. And then with no rush, I will say namaste and thank you, and let you come out of your pranayama shavasana in your due time. Now you know what to do with your life. Beautiful thoughts, beautiful words, and definitely love from me to you. Namaste, or just a plain thank you. Ten deep breaths to get this off and on. Will do. That takes a long time. Thank you.